much do you take off of the hive? How much do we leave? That was a question we heard a little bit earlier. Um, one of the main things, we want to give our bees as, as good a chance to get through the winter as they possibly can. So it gets really tempting to take more honey than we might <coughs> need. Yeah, it is. It is It is fun. But it is really easy to get carried away. But keep in mind, uh, coming in the next few months, there's not a whole lot of nectar flowing. And so there's not, a really, there's not a lot of opportunities for the bees to build up those stores. And a lot of people think, oh, I'll just feed them sugar water through the winter. You can do that, but the problem is, what happens to water in the winter? It can freeze. Even though it's in the hive, it can also freeze. But the other thing is you're also introducing a very high water content into the hive. The number one killer during the winter is not the cold, it's moisture. The number one killer. That will kill your bees quicker than anything. If you don't have adequate flow through the hive, and if you have too much moisture, I would guarantee you right now your bees will die. I had a friend last year who duct taped all of his entrances closed and all of the sides except for a little spot right here they all died because the moisture content it just it's just like uh, think of a soda can in the summertime take it out of the refrigerator it's nice and cold you put it into a warm environment condensation on the outside beehive in the winter is the exact opposite you get condensation on the inside it's cold outside warm inside you get condensation on the inside and it'll form on the on the ceiling in that, and it'll just drip down on the bees. And that's like your way. bathroom window with a wind wrapper. Right? So yeah. it's yeah. ventilation at the top. Yeah. You need to make sure it's bottom and top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to give. You want to make sure that they can have an even flow throughout the hive. Um, and there's a couple of different ways to do that. You can do uh, just some popsicle sticks. Some people will do that. Um, there's a type of shim you can do that's just a slight taper. And that just puts your lid up, kind of off the filter a little bit, and that, that'll work too. Um, it's kind of opposite. You'd think, well, I want to bundle them up, make sure they're all secure. You don't want that. They can keep themselves warm. They've got a whole bunch of really high, yeah, yeah, put a windbreak up. That's a good idea. But they've got a whole bunch of really high sugar content in here. It's going to keep them warm. That'll give them the energy that they need. And how they move throughout the winter, it's kind of interesting. So they'll, they'll form a cluster. And they'll, it's kind of like a typewriter. They'll move just like this, and then they'll move over to the next one, and they'll move over to the next one, and they'll do that. I have had uh, frames where I have found bees starved, and the next frame over was honey, and the next frame over was honey, and the next frame over was honey. For whatever odd reason, they weren't able to bridge that gap as a cluster, and they starved to death with food that far away from them. It was weird. Um, so just make sure, and, and all that had happened was it was just like in this box, if I had left uh, a space like that between these two frames, I don't know how well you can see that, but that was what, what we found. That was hard enough for them to get across. They starved to death and they had enough honey on these two to get them through the rest of the spring. So just make sure that you have it, everything's nice and close together so that they don't have to use all that energy to get it. Um, all of their heat goes out. You don't want to lose that heat. So one of the best ways to do it is just to kind of come here. Okay, I got about 60 to 80 pounds of honey in there. They're going to be and just kind of guesstimate. But if you go and it's way too light, you know that you then need to feed them something. So question: You said about 80 pounds, or was it 60 pounds? Between 60 to 100, depending on where. 60 to 100 uh, mm -hmm. of honey. How much does the box and the frame and the bees weigh, what should the overall weight of the hive be? Um, so you're, a full box with frames is roughly 11 pounds, I would say, ish. Probably yeah. a little bit more, but I, that's about it, what I've found. Generally 11 oh, pounds. Yeah. Without wax. Correct. Yeah, so yeah, brand new. Yeah, brand new. So, um, yeah. I guess, is there an estimation, a better estimation, like per frame? How much honey per yeah. frame? Yeah. Gen, I know it varies so much, but a general. Yeah, look at how much out. this frame has drawn out. This Pretty much it's about looking in your box. Yeah. See how much further yeah. out? Yeah. Beyond this is why we do a nine frame right there, why That's I do a nine frame. Yeah. Um, okay. can, we, can we pass that around so they can feel what a whole frame oh, yeah. looks like? Sure. Yeah, it's this really, light light. a lot of people are very you guys already surprised know. when they first feel it. Yeah, yeah. They, you're, you're going to hear home a lot. Right? Yes. <laughs> so you said out there that the two boxes is what you have in the winter? Yes. Is that going to be enough honey in that? It should be. It should be. So when you're going through your boxes, you want to make sure that you have at least three frames. Because, okay, 
What they will do in the winter or towards the winter time in a two box situation is the bottom is where they'll have most of their brood, and the top is where they'll have almost all honey. Okay. And so that second box, that's where you want to start looking, obviously, because it's the top box, but you want to be you want to be able to see at least eight, six to eight frames of honey up in the top box. Um, and then they'll start backfilling on the lower one as well, hopefully later in the summer. So we, we want to be able to see. So if you have the resources to draw on, if you have more than one hive, which is usually a good way to go, um, having two or more hives is usually good. That way if one's struggling, kind of help them out. So what if you left a third box that was totally full of honey? You could, you could do that. I wouldn't encourage it because they then have to heat three boxes as opposed to two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Told you. We'll hear a lot. It's kind of it's interesting at first. You kind of feel that. Like, yeah. So now you've felt your empty frames in that, but you feel a full frame of honey is going holy cow. How many fingerprints of honey do you think there's like this? <laughs> so if my overall hive weight is about 100 to 120 pounds, I should be in good shape, yeah. basically. Yeah, after you've taken all the boxes off and tucked them in for the winter. Yeah. 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 yeah.